Johnson published her groundbreaking 2013 bestseller, Zero Waste Home, the phrase has become part of the mainstream. As defined by Johnson, zero waste is a philosophy based on a set of practices aimed at avoiding as much waste as possible. In practice, it encompasses five steps, Johnson's five R's, which take into consideration both direct and indirect forms of consumption. More specifically, the first and second R's address the prevention of waste, the third R, thoughtful consumption, the fourth and fifth R's, the processing of discards. Get ready to learn all about them and prepare to revolutionize your relationship with your home and the environment. Step number one, refuse what you don't need. The first R of zero waste, refusing what you don't need, addresses the indirect type of consumption, the handouts and marketing materials that creep into our lives. Even though it's not difficult to recycle them all, contrary to popular opinion, zero waste doesn't promote recycling. Instead, it is much more about eliminating and handling waste materials, with recycling seen as the last resort before the landfill, as is composting. There are many refusing opportunities in our consumer-driven societies, but the following four areas are key and should be addressed correctly. 1. Single-use plastic, SUPs. Disposable plastic bags, bottles, cups, lids, straws, and flatware. These products, all of them non-recyclable, are the source of so much pollution in the world that refusing them should be your priority. Anything else makes you an accomplice in the death of millions of animals. 2. Freebies. Hotel room toiletries, food samples, party favors, swag bags, Free things are usually made of plastic and break easily. Usually you take them because they're free and not because you actually need them. Saying no to freebies translates into less clutter at home and a lighter global carbon footprint. 3. Junk mail. Even though it's almost impossible to block waste entering your mailbox, Johnson claims her battle against the United States Postal Service was the most frustrating part of her zero-waste journey. You should try putting into action a no-tolerance policy. Transferring junk mail straight from the mailbox in the recycling bin is easy, but costs money, time, and precious energy resources. Not to mention, it follows deforestation rather than preventing it. 4. Unsustainable Practices These include everything from accepting receipts and business cards to buying expensive packaging and wrapping every snack for your kids in plastic. Why are we doing these things in the first place? Tradition is not an acceptable explanation. Of all the R's, refuse might be the most difficult to implement because saying no to waste often means saying no to people, and in many cases, this might seem awkward and even impolite to others. Even so, refusing waste is the socially responsible choice, so it's important that you develop the right attitude from the outset. Be friendly but firm in your